Here we are again with another unboxing. Today we're opening two plushes on camera for y'all. And this one is supposed to be the Luigi holding the um, question block plush. And I got it from a small business on eBay because it was only like $13 or $14. So a pretty good deal for this Luigi. I've been asking or wanting it for a while because I have the pipe Mario. So it only, it's the only right to do this one. He's wrapped quite nice, he has his head in the block, which looks like he's kind of puking, if you can see that there. Like he's puking into the block. But this is wrapped very nice, or with a lot of shrink wrap. So, get that out of the way, but... Very nice packaging! And this is also brand new because it's still in production. So if you wanted one, you could easily get one from Amazon or like I did on eBay. And I think the total was or $13.99 total, including the tax. So like I said, this is a very good deal for this. <sighs> Too much wrapping. But and then he's in this bag finally. Look at, look at how funny that looks. Looks like he's throwing up into it. Or crying in it. But, uh, wow, this thing's big. I thought it seems big compared to what I thought it would be. This looks just like the, um, kind of like the Luigi's Mansion Luigi. Wow, this thing's really nice. The bottom of the pipe also, or the block has beads in it. This part is nice hard cardboard. And you can put things in it like pens, just like with the pipe. The Luigi has beads in the feet, just like the Mario did, but not as much. It's, you can barely tell. His eyes, this is basically the regular Sine Luigi, but like upscaled a lot. And it has, I think this looks very, very nice. I love this plush. The Luigi looks excellent on this. And the pipe is very useful if you want to put anything in it. And here's its tush tag, the Luigi and coin box plush. And the Super Mario. 2015 made in China. So, yup, this one is very nice. And it's one of my favorite Luigis now because he looks very, very nice. Up next is a medium Tanuki Mario. Now, a lot of you probably didn't know, but Sine made a medium and a tiny for both Mario and Luigi. So this is a medium one, a medium Mario. I was not able to get it brand new, but I got one that was in very good condition and it had all the photos. So I do not have any worries about this one. I'm actually very excited for it because I've been wanting the big Tanukis for a while, but Save that letter for after. And, yep. Here is the big Tanuki Mario. This thing's huge. So here he is. You could see his mustache is nice in there. His eyes are beautifully embroidered. He's very, very soft for being, um, for being kind of old. His tag was cut off, but I knew that from, from ordering it. So yeah, this thing is very, very nice. I'm so glad I got it. There's very, there's various listings of the big squirrel Luigi, but they were too much for me to order. So yeah, this is almost one of my favorite plushes now because of how big it is. And Tanuki Mario is one of my favorite power-ups too. So to have a, a almost a mega-sized version of it's very, very cool. And now let's start re um, comparing both of these new plushes that I got right here. Here's the Luigi, just a quick overview once again. We can just let you see all the nice little sewing details that are on this block. And one cool little thing that I forgot to mention earlier is that this must be a very old release of this plush because the tag has the old little buddy logo, which shows some kind of um, Cupid guy or something, I don't know how to... But that, that's their very old logo, and I think they changed it back in like 2016 maybe, I'm not sure about that. But they did change it to the new, I forgot what the new logo is, but they changed it so it's not that head anymore. So now, 
so now it's different. So this is a very old release of this plush, but it's still brand new. It, there, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very, very nice. And let's compare it to his Mario counterpart. And this one holds a pipe. And the beads are also at the bottom of the pipe, so it makes sense that there's beads at the bottom of this block. So these two look very, very nice together. And there's one more that belongs to this set of things holding, and it's of a Donkey Kong holding a barrel. But that one's kind of hard to find because I've seen it at one toy store for $26, but it's sold out. And Amazon has it from a third party, but it's also very expensive. So that one's hard to get, but it'll be next, hopefully because they'll all look very neat together. So these have the same general details on them. They're both standing up. They both look like their old Sine counterparts. And they they're very they could be very useful. Like I keep saying, you could put a pen in there. You could put a cup in this one, a cup holder. You could put some things in that like staples or something. But that's enough with that. Let's compare it to another Luigi that released sort of in this time period. And that is the Luigi's Mansion Luigi. And you can see they have very similar face sculpting. It's just that the skin on this one's a bit lighter, this one's a bit darker. And his eyes and eyebrows are less covered by the nose on this one. So it's more, you can see his face easier. And this one looks more bald because the hat is lower on this one. So these are both very good Luigi's. Both from back in the day. This one is 20... 13, 14... And this one came out one year after, so they're both from the same time period of Luigi history. And they both kind of look like they're cut from the same cloth, like the same Luigi still. They very nice Luigis. And that's all for this block one. So I very highly recommend this one. It's a great Luigi plush. It looks great. And he's very easy to find still, and he's still in production, so get him while you can. Alrighty, here uh, up next is the medium tanuki mario that i just opened earlier this is a fantastic tanuki mario he's very very big very fluffy and very cute looking now let me show him compared to his tiny sine version and you can see this one is pretty much almost double the size of this one now these both released of course at the same time but very few people know about this for some reason that they made mediums and they also made mediums of the cat ones for mario and luigi only and they made the medium squirrel ones for also Mario and Luigi. Now I'm surprised I found this Tanuki one because I've only ever seen the Luigi's before this and they were also like 30 to 40 dollars. I'm hoping to get that one. There's a listing I have seen with the tag on it still. So I'm hoping eventually I will be able to get that one because that'll look very very nice with this one. And yep, double the size and let's just show it to the medium all-star Mario now this one is a bit bigger and I know this one's 14 inches so this one's probably 11 to 12 inches I'm guessing so here's these three all together and out of these three the medium tanuki that I just got is my favorite one because like I said tanuki is my pro one of my favorite power-ups so it's nice to have one that's about this big and I'm ho like I said hopefully the Luigi is next and I've never seen the medium cats. So hopefully those become more available eventually. So yep, that's pretty much all for this review and unboxing. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and check out our other unboxings. See you later!